I'm Dennis Moreland with Dennis Moreland Tack, and today we're going to talk about <clears throat> wiping your tack, keep checking for weak spots, and you should check for weak spots in your tack every time you ride. But every week or so, <clears throat> I, I like to wipe things down. You can do it every day if you have time. About once a month, I like to wipe my saddle down with, uh, and I use Bentley Saddle Soap, and it's the best saddle soap that I've ever used. Uh, if something is real dry, we'll use Pure Neat's Foot Oil. We'll saddle soap it first, and then we'll put a light coat of Pure Neat's Foot Oil, and then go back and saddle soap again later to take the surface oil off. But uh, if your tack's in good shape and you're using it on a regular basis, about all you need to do is wipe it down with Bentley Saddle Soap. And to get started, I'm gonna roll my sleeves up. I'm not gonna take the bridle completely apart, but I am gonna unbuckle the head stall. And you can check in here for where. I'm gonna take the curb off because that's something that can get you in a storm and uh, we don't look at often enough. Just spray a little Bentley's on a piece of sheepskin. If you have a piece of sheepskin, that's fine. If you don't, a soft rag works just as good. Be sure and wipe your strings good. Look at the back side where you don't have a lot of slack in your strings, whether you bleed them together or you tie them in a knot. Uh, just give it a good wiping. The beauty of Bentley's, you can just wipe it on and you don't have to wipe it off. Uh, it's a very good product. Go curbs dry and we'll work around the buckle where it folds. Also check your strings on your on your reins that they're pulled tight. Check the bridle rein ends that are not worn on the inside there. Pull down your reins. And you also, while you're doing this, you're checking for weak spots in the reins. Bridle's ready to go, go use. We, we know that everything is in good shape. The, there's not any weak spots on it. If you ride real mile reins, we would start off with Bentley's. These real miles are real dirty. So we're gonna saddle soap them good. And if you roll miles are or your saddle or any of your tack is real dirty, you can take a little soft bristle brush and do some scrubbing with it after you put some saddle soap on it. After we do the Romel reins, we will go back with a light coat of Ray Holes Rawhide Cream and just take a, a very light coat just rub it on, make it last, and make it feel good in your hands. On the saddle, we just wipe the, wipe the surface good. Be sure and get your strings. Go down your strings, it keeps them pliable. If you tie your Makati up here, Need to be able to tie them. If you tie your slicker on behind you, it needs to be a good pliable string. Okay. 
go underneath your paddle, get all under there. Do your do your flank cinch, billet. Both sides because you gather all the sweat on the back side. I like to do my latigos. And here again, check right here at the top where it folds over the D-ring. We can unbuckle our hobble strap on our fender. Looks like it's gathered a little green mold. Take our stirrups off. We can check our, our fenders here where they fold. When we come to the other side, I like to take my cinches down. I like to pull my double off completely off. Although we're not going to saddle soap it, I like to check my cinches. That there's no wear, there's no strands missing, there's no wear where it goes over the edge of the buckle. But this way, give this double off a good scrubbing. The holes are not elongated out right here where it folds over the cinch buckle. It's still in good shape, but it needs to be looked at. While we're this far along, go ahead and take your flank cinch off. And like we did on the other side, when you, when you do your billet, we'll check for wear, check for holes that are pulled out on the flank cinch. Of course, the, the bottom side needs the most attention because it gets all the sweat from the horse. You need to check both ends where the buckle goes around. That, uh, there's no wear there. side check where your buckle fits in check your hobble strap this is one place that I like to use by thing it'll last for years and years and years and you don't have a lot of times you'll see that will break and cause people a big wreck Just a, a little bit of care alone saves a half a day project when you try and you let it get so dry that it has to be saddle soaked and oiled and saddle soaked again. Uh, just do this once a month or so and your saddle will stay in good shape, and your tack will stay in good shape, but look look at your tack every day when you when you're saddling when you're putting a bridle on uh, we want you to stay safe for more tips and to take a look at some of the country's finest handmade tack log on to dmtack.com